Hey everyone, this video is going to explain the key differences between acute stress disorder and PTSD. So let's get straight into it. Acute stress disorder is a condition that arises in response to experiencing or witnessing or even hearing about a traumatic experience. Symptoms of this condition include nightmares, flashbacks, amnesia, derealization, insomnia, and negative mood. The key point when it comes to diagnosing acute stress disorder is that the duration of symptoms is three days to one month. If it persists for any longer than that, it's no longer acute stress disorder and it actually becomes PTSD. When it comes to management of acute stress disorder, you want to be able to recognize that these are very sensitive patients who have been through generally pretty traumatic experiences and it's important to really make them feel like they're being supported and to offer them the best care possible. So generally this involves some trauma-focused brief cognitive behavioral therapy, you can give meds for insomnia or anxiety, and then you want to monitor for PTSD. So you want to make sure that the symptoms aren't lasting more than a month. And if they do last more than a month, you want to make sure you take the necessary steps after that. And so now we can discuss PTSD, and this arises in a very similar way to acute stress disorder and includes lots of the same symptoms. The key difference here is that symptoms persist for greater than one month. But once we've reached that threshold past one month, then it becomes PTSD and is no longer acute stress disorder. And so when it comes to management of PTSD, we also want to do some trauma-focused CBT, and we can try SSRIs and SNRIs for our patients. Here's a table that describes the differences between acute stress disorder and PTSD, and hopefully that's helpful. Let's try a question to test our understanding. So this is a 30-year-old female who experienced a traumatic experience three months ago that has continued to have nightmares about it since. She'll often get flashbacks at random times during the day that cause great distress. Her family has noticed her being more hypervigilant and irritable. What's the most likely diagnosis? And the options are acute stress disorder, major depressive disorder, PTSD, and anxiety. So pause if you need a second to think about it. I'll go on to the answer. The answer here is PTSD. So in this question, we have a patient who experienced a traumatic experience. She's getting flashbacks. She's in great distress. She's becoming hypervigilant and irritable. So let's walk through why each answer is wrong. So this can be acute stress disorder because remember for acute stress disorder, symptoms can't persist longer than a month. And it's not MDD because we're not meeting M Siggy Kep's criteria. And it's not anxiety because while uh, PTSD can involve anxiety, this patient exhibits lots of the hallmarks of PTSD that involve anxiety plus many more things such as the hypervigilance and her flashbacks. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you.